Hello, this is Jenda Homestead, and today I am going to be pickling some jalapenos. Now, these jalapenos have been growing in my garden all summer. Uh, with the heat being so harsh, they didn't really start producing. Look at that, like the legs. They didn't really start producing well until it got a little cooler. These are my two red ones. I like to add those for color. And this is what we've got. So I like to cut the tops off of the jalapenos with a knife. And um, I leave the seeds in because that um, lets the jalapenos be hotter. The heat comes from the seeds. Now these are a mild variety of jalapenos, so they're not really hot. So I really like those, so I will definitely be growing those again. And I'm just putting the tops to the side. I don't really feed those to my chickens because they're kind of hard. I'm not sure, you know, about how they would be able to digest those. So those go to the compost. They don't get given to the chickens. So this is the finished product. So pretty. And this is my handy dandy chopperer. And um, sometimes, most of the time, you can slice your jalapenos to be pickled. But my mom likes to eat them um, chopped. Um, she eats salad every day. And she used to pull apart her jalapenos. My rude telephone interrupted me. Like I was saying, I was in the grocery store one day and I saw a jar of chopped jalapenos. So I bought those and my mom loves those. So that's what I am emulating. Yes, I am being very aggressive with the chopperer. I am manhandling it with my fists because you got to do that sometime. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all my jalapenos and chop them now I will say that my jalapenos are small because it's getting cold and I want to get as many as I can so here are my final that's my final chopped jalapenos so what I'm gonna make the brine with is white distilled vinegar and purified water or distilled water just non-chlorinated water you don't want to can with anything that's got chlorine in it so i'm using pipe sized jars i check the jars to make sure there aren't any nicks or anything and they're in pretty good shape so now i'm going to fill my jars so i have a little plate underneath to catch any of the pieces that don't go into the jar it makes it easy for me to just dump whatever didn't fit in there into the jar and I tap it down so that all the pieces can um, fit tighter when you tap the jar down it shuffles the pieces around and it makes them uh, settle settle down in the jar So it seems like I have too much, but you'll see I have this little spatula thingy. It's a thin spatula. I forgot where I got that thing from, but I press down the peppers to below the one inch line. That's that neck, like the neck of the jar. So this way I'm pressing down so I can get more peppers in the jar and, um, then I go on to the next. Now, I suddenly realized I had a tool. I don't know why I forgot about it, but this is a funnel for canning. And um, it helps you not make as big a mess as I did there before. 
So I'm taking my little juggy thing. I don't know what you call it, but I'm taking it and I'm pressing it down again to make the most space in my jars. So here are the three jars that I came up with. Uh-oh, that was ridiculous. But anyway, my um, three jars that I came up with from that batch, small batch of jalapenos. So I have heated up the brine half and half, half water, half vinegar. And I'm pouring that into my jars. Now I'm going to water bath this for 10 minutes. And um, I'm going to heat up the water in the water bath because I'm putting in hot jars because of this hot liquid. So if you start with cool materials, you can start the water bath with cold water. But if you're filling the water bath with hot jars, you want to heat up the water in the water bath to match. So just remember, it needs to match. The jars need to match the water. What's in the jars need to match the temperature of the water. So I'm just filling these. You can fill them to one half inch head space. That's like that second line that you can see. I kind of just eyeball it. I don't do the measuring and all that kind of stuff. So I have a piece of paper towel that I am going to wipe the rims of the of the jars i just dipped it in that brine it was hot but and yeah it was hot so i dipped it in there you want to clean off the lip of the jars to make sure you're going to get a good seal and you finger you finger tight them what you call them make it finger tight um and these are new lids They say you have to use new lids. I've been doing some research into like the Mennonite practices and those people don't waste and they are the canon people of the world and they reuse their lids. So I'm gonna see about that because sometimes they have rules for things just just to, so you have to buy it again. So I had other stuff in that canon jar. I had um, salsa in there. Um, I already took it out, but I had a full um, canning pot load. That thing underneath is called a trivet, and um, it separates the jars from the bottom of the pot. So here's my finished results, and I didn't add salt, but you can if you like. Thanks for watching.